With me now are two of Sweden's best-known glass artists, and they have with them some of the spectacular works that they have done. They are Bertil Wallin, he is a glass artist and designer with Costa Boda, and Ulrika Heidmann Wallin. She is also a glass artist and painter. They are husband and wife, and they live in Sweden's famed glass region, which is 240 miles south of Stockholm. And it's nice to have you with us today. It's nice a to gorgeous be here. day out here, and these things are beautiful. What drew you as an artist to, to glass as a medium in which to work? <clears throat> Glass is uh, the only material that actually plays with light, that uh, becomes visible with light only. So it's like working with light. I also am very much uh, intrigued by the teamwork, to work with skilled tradesmen in the factory, in the team. And you really have spectacular results. Tell us about this one. It looks almost like an American Indian head. Is yeah, it right? I have been fascinated by the Indians. Uh, of course, for the philosophy of the Indians, but also because it's such a beautiful person. And in fact, you spend some time every year, you two go to yeah. Seattle, Washington to teach, yeah, right? Yeah, we're teaching at the Pilshak School of Glass. Uh, so you studied Seattle. the American Indian. Right. And, and this, mm, go ahead. Yeah, this piece here <laughs> then uh, represents the uh, what happened to the Indian, actually. Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, and this is another face. Very different, though. Yeah, I'm a painter and I love to paint on everything. And glass is a fascinating material. And it can be a very solid, thick piece of cut oh, glass. Yeah. And I can paint on every side and I like that. And you even see the light through and yes, the painting and faces through. on all the sides. And this one over here is really spectacular, the, the snake up the side. Who did this? I did. Okay. No, and I did it together with these skilled glass blowers, and I love the hot feeling you can have to the glass with, with a snake that really can you know lean around, and I can paint on top of everything, and you can feel it has been hot and like water. Do you ever burn and yourself? Yes, I did once <laughs> on my leg, actually. And <laughs> put the pipe This on is my one head. of my favorites here. Look at this. This is a head, but I call it a head with an open mind. <laughs> you can see everything inside. How yes. do you get those things inside? <laughs> yes, this is cast in sand. And uh, as I said, this is a teamwork. So we are like 10 people. So one would do this piece on the blowpipe. Uh -huh. Another would do this piece on the blowpipe. Is it thick in there, though, or are those things This inside? is all solid. And oh, it's boy. all solid. And then the glass is poured into the mold, and during the pour, you put those ready-made pieces into the Inside. glass. And you did the same thing here. This is a canoe. Once again, that American Indian, right? <laughs> and you've got these things. Let me just feel if I may. Yeah. See, this is solid. It's, it's like all solid glass, yeah. but these things are down inside there. Exactly. And this is also cast in sand. And I very much like the boat as a symbol for moving and for traveling. I find this a fascinating piece. I do want to get down to these, though, because these are what they call production pieces. They're less expensive and more, I guess, functional. Right, right? right. Why are these kinds of pieces important to you, too, as artists? Because... Go ahead. No. <laughs> yeah, it's because you can make very, very many. It's a factory with 600 people, and every one of these people need to do work every day. And we can't do the art class because it's uh -huh. only one of a kind. And, and it also gets it out, I guess, to more people to enjoy, right. too. Yeah. Right. And they but are the spectacular prices. pieces. Things like this are really what uh, Sweden is so well known for. Really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. We thank you both.